IPv4 forwarding RIB versus FIB. In this video, I'm going to review the IPv4 forwarding or IPv4 routing as a traditional method that we used in the routing networks. Okay, you know that we have routing table in a router and when a packet is received with the router, destination IP of the packet compared with the routing table. Look at here. This is a router, for example. And when the, a packet is received with router, the destination IP of the packet, this is the destination IP of the packet, is checked with the router routing table. And According this check, router can forward the packet from the suitable interface and forward the packet toward to the destination. Okay, and this means that IP routing or, or IPv4 routing in traditional routing means compare destination IP with routing table okay routing table but if we can check this process we can go to the router and with the famous command with this famous command show ip root check the routing tables of the routers okay but you know that ipv4 forwarding or forwarding based on routing table is in the control plane. In the real world, when a packet received by the router, the packet goes to the data plane. Let's explain it more. You know that in every router, in Cisco routers, we have two planes. One plane in a router is control plane and another plane is the data plane. Okay? The routing table or RIB, RIB means, RIB is the abbreviation of routing information base or routing table, is inside in the control plane. RIB is reside in the control plane and also we have FIB or forwarding information base in the data plane. We use all of the tools, for example, commands, CLI commands and also routing protocols routing protocols and also ios and some other tools in the control plane we use all of these tools for completing the rib or routing information base but the result downloaded from the rib to the fib okay download to the fib and FIB, forwarding information based, finally is used to forward the traffic. This means that when the packet received to a router and the router has two plane, control plane and data plane, the packet goes to the data plane here. Okay and check with the FIB and according the result of checking with FIB the packet is forwarding to the destination okay the packet forwarding in the data plane and in control plane routing information base is populated or uh, com completed Okay, control plane. 
in control plane we gather information the result of uh, and the information that is gathered in the control plane in the rib downloaded to the fib and the packet forwarded with the fib and you know that we have two types of packets in a network okay let's talk about this we have two type of packets first routing packet routing packets means the routing update and routed packets routed packet means the user data packet routing packet goes to the control plane finally and routed packet goes to the data plane finally but first both of routing packet and routed packet okay goes to the data plane first both of these packets received in the data plane but routing packet punted to the punted to the control plane and used for completing the rib or routing table but rotate packet check with the fib and after that the packet forwarded okay this is this means ip routing i review these topics i knows that you from previous courses understand and knows about know about these topics i want only to review the topics okay and because of that in the in a router we have two table rib and you can check the contents of the rib with the show ip route and also fib and you can check the contents of the fib with the show ip ceph ceph means cisco express forwarding the method of forwarding data or user data or routed packet in the f in the data plane with fib is the met the proprietary method of cisco that its name is ceph or cisco express forwarding okay in this video i want to show you routing table and also fib or ceph table because of that we should configure our scenario and then check these tables we need we will need all of these topics in the future videos for learning mpls okay let's start let's get started the configuration of our scenario our scenario is a simple scenario and i want to configure it first and after that we can check the routing tables and also fib rib and fib and then we can compare these tables okay as you can see i used a famous method for addressing the links look at here i used 10 as a private ip address and one it is is uh, it is the rotor this rotor number and two this is the right rotor number s dot zero s slash 24 and with the link between r2 and on r3 i used 1023 and between r3 and uh, r4 i used 1034 and between r4 and r5 i used 1045 okay it's a good method for doing configuration faster and after that we can check more easier the result and also for the ip address of the interfaces i use the rotor number for example for eth e0 slash 0 in r1 i use 10121 in r2 10122 next ethernet 01 of r2 10232 2 is the rotor number and in R3 Ethernet E00, 10233. Okay, let's configure the scenario because we want to configure these options, this process faster. I use Notepad. 